that our information comes in sets of three rows. So we have ID, timestamp, text, ID, timestamp, text, and so forth. When we have this type of thing, situations, usually the next step will be to create an indexed column. Let's come to add column and index column. If we choose from there, it will generate a column that starts with zero and that's fine for now. Okay. Now we need two things. One is that I need the rows to be numbered in a way that shows that these three rows belong to the same record, the same entry. Uh, so for example, I would need this, I would need this to go 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 3, 3. That's one thing I need to do. The other thing I need to do is also to find a way to identify the different types of rows that we have here, the different types of information. So uh, if I number these rows like uh, 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2, I know the zeros will be the ID rows, the ones will be the timestamp rows, and the twos will be the text rows. Okay, let's start with that one. Select index column and then come to add a new column tab. Add column tab. I want to add a new column and come here to standard. And under here we have the modulo function. Let's do that. And because we have sets of three rows, we will use the value three in here. Okay. This created a, the modulo column for us. What this does is it tell, it gives us the remainder of the division of each one of the values we had here in under index column, uh, the division of that value by three. So zero divided by three, the remainder is zero. One divided by three is zero and the remainder is one. Two divided by three, zero and the remainder is two. Three divided by three, 3 is 1 and the remainder is 0 and so forth. So we will get uh, cycles of 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2 and so on. Okay. The other thing we need now is to transform this column in a way that the numbers will come as 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 2, or we could start with 1 instead of 0. It doesn't matter. So let's use the same button here, standard, and this time, oh, but not in add column, because now I don't want to add another column. I can uh, just uh, use this one and transform it. So let's come to the transform tab instead and uh, use the standard button as well. And here we have in tiger divide. Use that. And the same thing, we have uh, groups of three rows, so we will divide by three. And this will generate what we needed. So groups of the three of the same number. Zero, zero, zero means these three rows are record zero. One, one, one means these three rows are record one, belong to the same set of data. Two, 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 and so forth. Okay, so we are in a good shape now. Next thing will be to use this column here as column headers, the values of on this column as column headers. To do that, let's go to transform and use pivot column. Now it asks us, okay, so where are the values? We say that the values for each one of the columns that we will generate are under the merged column. That's fine. Okay. That's so the selection was correct. Then we need to come here to the advanced options and say that we do not want to aggregate. We don't want to count rows or sum values, anything like that. We just want to transfer these values under each one of the new columns. Let's do OK. And there we go. So we got a column 0, a column 1, and a column 2. and under each column, we have the different types of data that we had in each, each uh, set. So set zero, index zero, uh, first row is under column zero, second row is under column one, third row is under column two, and so forth. Then we have the three ones that now are distributed 
throughout these three columns. 